Rome Penguins by Leverkusen Europa League semi final second leg in German Roma had to burn Leverkusen with a one nil advantage for the second leg of their Europa League semi final tie on Thursday Leverkusen dominated the possession in the first leg at Stadio Olimpico but they struggled to create clear cut chances Registering just one shot on target as Ice Roma put in a well organized defensive shift. Academy graduate Eduardo Bovo scored the only goal of the game in Roma as the hosts packed a threat on the account on the counter. It's all to play for when the two clubs meet again on Thursday as they seek a spot in the final at Budapest. Pushkas Arena at the end of the month. Bayern Leverkusen defender Odiro Koson limped out of the first leg with a hip injury, so Piero Hincampian should slot into the back three ways. Mitchell Baker likely to play at left wing back. Midfield Robert Andrich is also a casualty from the crash in Roma, leaving the field late on with a broken ankle with Kerem Damibe said to feature in his press. Angel Nev back Karim Berarabi Masitura and Patrick Chris Green We are already in the treatment room and are set to miss out once again. Jose Mourinho made the wholesale changes to his starting level for Sunday's goalless draw at Bologna in Serie A. Mir Sivila, Nicola Zarawiski, Madi Kamara, Filippo Misori, Benjamin Tari, Tahirovic, and Ora Soribaken all started at the weekend but are likely to return to the bench. The likes of Tami Abraham, Ronaldo Spanizora, Gianluca Mancini, Rimanja Matic, Lorenzo Pellegrini, Bovi and Rui Patricio should all be restored. Stefan Eli Sharawi, Rick Kasdop, Marash Kumbura and Diego Lorente are all unavailable due to injury, while Paulo Dibara and Chris Manning will need to come through rate fitness test. Since winning the first European meeting between the two sides in October 2014, Bayern Leverkusen are now winless in a full match against Loma. Two draw two losses. Bayern Leverkusen have only progressed from one of their 11 two leg tie in major European competitions after losing the first leg. Roma have advanced from 23 of their last 25 two leg ties in major European competition when winning the first leg. The, the Giaro La Rossi have kept five clean sheets in Europa League this season, including earning a shout out in the reverse fixture. Taking a slander lead with them to Germany, Roma six a place in the Europa League final when they visit Bayern Leverkusen on Thursday in the second leg of club's semi-finals tie. Last year's Europa Conference League winner won one nil in the Italian capital last week, but their hosts still have hope of securing a spot in Champions League in Champions climactic. Showpiece where either Juventus or Sevilla will await. While Bayern Leverkusen have lost just once in their last 11 away matches across all competitions, that sole sort of reverse came in surely the most important game of all. Their semi final first leg crash in Rome lasted that Thursday. Having now been beaten in each of their last seven UEFA competition contests versus the Serie A side, the Rhin club cannot afford to let that streak continue in this week's return, as only victory offered, offers a route through to the Europa League final to be held at Budapest Pushkas Arena on, 
on the last day of May. Over the past decade, only three teams have gone on the progress after losing their semi-final opener, but Leverkusen have already beaten both Leipzig and Bayern Munich at home this season. In addition to toppling Atletico Madrid during Champions League group stage, head coach Xavi Alonso, who was managed by Roma boss Jose Mourinho for three seasons at Real Madrid recently led his team to a 14-game unbeaten run in all competition, which featured 10 wins and drew interesting in lucky coaches services for several clubs across the continent. However, Sunday's 1-1 draw with German with Bundesliga struggler Stuttgart followed two defeats already suffered this month. As a result, they Wake Sheriff have won none of their last four matches and as they sit sevens in the domestic standing, winning the Europa League could also provide their best out back into intercontinental competitions. Since dropping out of Champions League last autumn, Leverkusen have eliminated Monaco, Pene, Varos, and Union Saint Groise to travel this far in Europe second tie tournament, and they will securely believe their deficit can be overturned, securing a first UEFA final since 2002. While Mourinho has sought to sign experienced pros with proven records in Europe, such as the Majamatic, Paul Dibara, and Giorgino Winjardum. It was one of several young guns in the Roma squad who decided matters at Stadio Olimpico last week. Roman midfielder Eduardo Bovo struck just after the hour mark of a sense. Tense account and the 20 year olds finish proved enough to push the Giarrosi in front halfway through their latest semi final tie. Though they were, knocked, they were knocked out by Manchester United in Europa League semis in 2021, Roma saw off Leicester City at the same stage of, of the Conference League last year on their way to lifting the trophy. Mourinho now aims to guide his side to second continental final in as many as and a potential victory in Hungary may either prove the perfect parting gift or alternatively keep him in eternal city thanks to the Champions League press that would accompany it. Always a formidable operator in Europe, the Portuguese coach has continued the Roma's tradition of success on home so in the UEFA competition, they have won. They have now won 15 of their last 17 knockout matches at Olympico draw, winning the other two. But they are generally a less formidable proposition on their travel. On their most recent road trip to Emilia, Romagna, the Giarrosi played out a goalless draw with Bologna to sit sixth in Serie A and remaining unsure of European press for next season following five games without a league win. Defeats in Lasgrad, Rotterdam and Salzburg and road to, to the Europa League semi-finals have also shown they can be beaten by a side with the right game plan. After Neiza featured in Rivakusen's lineup at the weekend, both Odiro, Kosunu, and Robert and Rich Weir, who were withdrawn due to injury in Rome, remain doubts for Xavi Alonso ahead of Thursday's second leg. Should they be unable to return, Kerem, Demebe, and Miche Baka would most likely to keep their respective places with the latter operating on the left flank at Jeremy Frimpong patrolling the right. They remain, they are remain strong competition for places in the attack and after Sada as none as man start, started and the star man Florin which was 
listed on Sunday. Their roles should be reverse. Adam, Horzek, and Amin Adri go ahead, go head to head to join with alongside Musa Diabe in the host front of three. Long term absent Patrick Krich and Karim Bera Rabi, the letter of whom recent confirmed he would soon be leaving the club after 12 years, we have to watch on from the stands. Roma, though, hope to have two integral conks in their matches, match machine available at the by arena, by arena, albeit only from the bench. Paul Dibara and Chris Mowling will have both returned to training and the English defender now seems set to make his return from a three-week layoff. Burian Cristante should feed his place from the start, so deputizing at the heart of the visitors' back three. While Rosic Creech is expected to recover from muscular injury which forced him off the Bologna in time for the trip to Germany. As the bar is unlikely to play, Andre Berotti, Tammy Abraham, Andy, Ora Saribaken must fight it out for selection up front. Ben Rivakusen possible starting lineup. And Radeki Tapisoba Ta in Campia Frimpong the Demibe Parashias, Baka, Diabe, Witt, Adri, Roma, Possible, Starting, Levin, Patricio, Mancini, Cristant, Ibanez, Seric, Matic, Bovi, Sini, Sini, Sipinazora, Peregrini, Winaldum, and Tommy Abraham. Thank you very much. Let's wait and see who is going to win the second league to make it to the final in the late of June 2023. See you in the other upcoming video talking about Juventus praying with Sevilla, where Juventus will revit Sevilla in Spain. Thank you very much and see you.